hello today I'm making beef stock or beef bouillon with piroshki or pierogi from puff pastry for that I need I have here one and a half pound of beef I already washed it and it's cold water here into that stock I'm into that water I'm adding one onion one carrot two garlic cloves, two bay leaves, thyme, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, or you can use a fresh thyme as well, Oops. and salt, that much at this point, so basically, and that much salt, basically a teaspoon, and I'm going to cook this beef with all these ingredients. If you like celery, you can add one stick of celery. Okay. It goes directly on the stove until uh, meat is completely cooked. Meat so. has cooked and now I'm going to grind this meat. If you don't have grinding machine, you can use a food processor. Now I have to check for salt and add black pepper. It is a little bit dry, so I will add little, little bouillon, a little bit of stock here and mix it. I'll see how that looks. As an option here you can add a cooked rice already and you can add hard boiled pre-cut eggs. So I'm going to sprinkle my counter with the flour because I'm going to roll it. I find that they are a little bit too thick, so I prefer them thinner, this puff pastry. Of course you can use homemade pastry. Now I'm going to cut on four parts so in half in quarters and each in half too and I have a fork here I better take a spoon generous amount my oven is preheated to 360 degrees and it is a convection oven and my piroshki or meat pies will be ready in 20 minutes. So now I'm to show you. I'm making triangles here but you can make any shape you want. So here how I'm closing it. This is how I close them. baking sheet I'm transferring all my pretty pies like that on one just like that and now I have to egg wash them So 
So now they're going into the oven at 360 degrees for 20 minutes. While meat pies are baking, I'm going to filter my bouillon or stock through the gauze. Double layer. So now I will apply this way and another I will play the other in other direction. And I will filter all my bouillon. But make sure it is hot or at least warm when you do it. Finally chop my parsley. So here I have prepared parsley this garlic pressed the two big cloves of garlic and now I am going to add here my bouillon. I will mix it and I will serve it also on the table. Delicious flavorful bouillon with garlic and parsley. delicious beef bouillon with piroshki or meat pie. Thank you for watching.